Hello, all you fine motherfuckers. It's Wednesday. And it's the Greenlight Weekend Podcast. Goddamn right. It's good. Good shit. I'm actually off Thursday, Friday, so that's why it's a Greenlight Weekend coming out on my Friday, and I don't really care what your guys' schedule is. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean to come out negative. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Well, fuck you guys. <laughs> Thank you for listening. <laughs> Thank you. And, uh... Brian's back in the studio. Yay! Not in Tennessee anymore. Yay! Tennessee's far away. It was far away and it was fun. Something I didn't talk about on the podcast, I found out I'm really not into uh, moonshine. Really? Me, my dad, and my brother-in-law drank three and a quarter shots of moonshine in about five minutes. And it was not good. It's not good on your stomach. Well, like, it wasn't good on the palate. It was fucking awful. It was really hard to drink. Yeah. There was one in the middle that was moonshine soaked pickles, and that one was surprisingly awesome, but the other ones were just all like half sugar. It just tasted like shit. Yeah, the only moonshine I've had that was good was some apple pie moonshine and it was just sweet enough, but it had a bite to it. it yeah, was delicious. We had that and it was so goddamn sweet. Yeah. It was like I sucked a donut's dick. I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking know. about sucking dick, no. <laughs> Our guest this week, <laughs> Callie Farvetcher. Uh, she was great. The great and powerful. A fucking good sport coming in here and talking about buttholes with us. She was talking shit to us. Yeah. It was awesome. Um, Callie is a local comedian. She's one of my. She's become a really good friend of me in the comedy scene. I love her because she's filthier than me Mm -hmm. she's a finalist in the next best comic of the four corners competition and that show is this saturday at the henry strader theater in durango colorado you should come check it out come cheer on cali fuck jacob jonas hashtag Um, hashtag fuck jacob jonas (laughs) yeah he moved away i don't love him as much i don't know (laughs) (laughs) ah we always kind of talk shit to him yeah but yeah, come watch Callie this Friday also at the Billy Goat. She's doing a show with Dallas Gwynn. And Saturday is the finals of the next best comic of the Four Corners. I have faith in her. She's going to bring the heat. Bring in the heat. That bring in the booty fire. heat, son. Fire, fire. Hell yeah. I, yes. Um, she didn't really give us any uh, social media, so I'm not going to give you her social media. Find her. Find her. Use the Google Stalk machine. Her. Not Whoa. really. Stay away yeah. for kids. <laughs> <laughs> don't you bring this down on me, Ricky Bobby. Just come to comedy shows, but don't like follow her home. Totally. Um, <laughs> you can follow us. Yeah. Home, uh, GLW underscore podcast on Instagram. Yeah. Um, send us dick pics. I want to start a dick pic scrapbook. And we will forward them to Cali. Yeah. Send them to greenlightweekend at gmail.com. Yep. Um, don't send dick pics to to our Facebook (laughs) green light weekend and uh, you want to see our dicks I'm just kidding that's not on YouTube but maybe we'll blur it out Uh, the future is near yeah Uh, yeah, green light weekend on YouTube the future is near (laughs) (laughs) we're gonna soon be on you porn but we haven't quite figured out the logistics we won't blur that out definitely not (laughs) Uh, you're funny, man. How long into a relationship do you start pulling the condom? Day one. Okay. Uh, Hope you guys enjoy this episode. <laughs> we love you. It's always been my go-to. The pages of a notebook. Don't put old school shit. Get your dome shook. No luck. For you, can you feel what I'm saying? Rhyme slinging, uh huh, beat banging from the pavement to the backwoods. Put your hands down if you're trying to act hood. I don't care about your steez or how you be swagging. Punks moving backwards, I'm sitting back laughing, laughing. Like what happened to the real? Hey, everybody. Hey, welcome, hey. welcome to Butthole Country. Woo! Butthole Country. Yeah, that's what Beautiful. we're. That's what, uh, is it Sean Moe calls it? I, I think that's remember. who started it. I don't remember. Heading deep into Butthole Country. But I almost wish we didn't name an episode that before because it would be super appropriate for this week's guest, Callie Parmenter. Is that the name you want to go by? Uh, I feel like we had this conversation once and it wasn't. 
doesn't matter to me. I don't know. Whatever I, makes uh, your heart happy. I kind of like just going by Kelly only, but David Oakley talked me into adding my last name, and I can't decide if I hate it or not. You don't have to listen to him. I know. I wouldn't. We're big fans of David Oakley on the Greenlight Weekend mm-hmm. podcast, but we don't take his advice. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's where I've been making mistakes. Right. That's yeah. not true. You didn't do comedy until he came on. It's and true. you were stoked about it. So no, he's awesome, I think he actually. influenced you quite 100%. a bit. 100%. And his wife told me to stop being a bitch and get on stage, so I did. Aw. Yeah. And I, here you are. I owe Kat a lot. Me She's too. good at that. Kat's really encouraging. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's the best laugher in the crowd generally, except Farrell when she's drunk. Farrell laughed a lot on Thursday. Oh, good. But I loved it. Good. <laughs> Even like not good. during punchlines, which was fun. That's okay. Like she knows the joke that's coming, so she starts laughing when you say the premise. And it was good. Lovely. Nice. Yeah. That Love helps. Farrell. She's a good uh she's a good comedy groupie too. Definitely. Is that what they are? Yeah. I feel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Her and She's comedy groupie. She's one of them for sure. <laughs> Definitely. I'm trying to draw out some comedy groupies that are dudes. So really, you no, know, yeah, I've, I've, yeah. There's a few for sure. Betsy's been pulling in some real fuck boys. Mm, yeah, yeah. She's like fuck good. boy bait. I mean, fuck boy bait. Yeah, I could see that. They have like sure. easies. I just kind of that. fashion like that. Like just fuck boys. I'm real, trying to build like they do their hair life. similar to me, but mm. more fuck boy. Like Brendan Schaub. No, that's a little classier. More up, like the whole thing, like up. Ew. Like their hair is trying to get away from their stupid fuck boy face. I don't know. I met mm. one. His name was Tristan. It's if like, that's ooh, a jail. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been able to use that reference ever. So our oh, good friend go. Callie is a comedian. One of my favorite local comics, and she's obviously one of Durango's favorite local comics because she's in the finals for the next best comic of the Four Corners. Are you excited or are you nervous as shit? Um, you know, I both. mean, I'm out of the running, so there's really not a lot of reason I to be nervous. I didn't like beating <laughs> my friends. I thought everyone was funnier than me. Uh, I think I'm in the finals because they pity me and they're like... This middle-aged bitch needs something to live for, you know? Nah. So <laughs> There's got to be some talent No, um, at this point, it's the finals. It's all in good fun. I mean, it's just, I'm okay with whatever happens at this point. Right. I do feel like I, uh, I've been kind of, I don't know. I've been, I feel like I want new, new material, but I don't have new material. <laughs> so. Well, and I'm, now's I'm not the time to write it. Well, maybe Because I found out in the semifinals. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like the first time I do a joke is the best it ever goes. I have a hard time. Like, Always? A lot of times. I've definitely Most had those times. jokes that killed the hardest the first time. Yeah, and, maybe and it's it hard was... to replicate, you right. know? So there is something like authentic in the first time jokes. Mm-hmm. Whether they hit or miss, I mean, I had a couple misses in the last round and I still advance. So I'm just like, fuck it, kind of, you know? Yeah. Not full on fuck it, but. Right. Almost. Fuck a judge. Is it different yeah. judges? Yeah, it's different judges, which is good. The last judge yeah. didn't really like me. He uh, was like, maybe, you know, in this crowd, you're in a theater. You need less raunchy material. And uh, I don't oh, have yeah. less raunchy material. So. Well, we can't all joke about how stinky Pagosa is. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I'm, like, I'm like, okay, well, sorry. But, you know, and a lot of that crowd who was like, looked like ranchers in their 60s were stoked about it. Right. Afterwards, they were like, good job, and gave me a hell yeah and all that. So I think he's underestimating the uh, old people's capacity for butthole talk. I was extremely surprised at how well they received like me trying to blow myself when I was 12. <laughs> like, <laughs> Who hasn't been there? And I had more support from the women, for sure, which was weird. I think there's more shame as you get older, something about that. Yeah. I don't know. My dad wouldn't admit to that, for example, you know? Well, I wanted to make it. Did joke. you walk in on him? Is that what's what you're saying? No, but I guarantee he's tried. <laughs> like he, he, g- he grew up in Gubner Door. Took up yoga what for a while. Is that? It's a. That's the correct response. Yes, it's a very small town. It's actually not <laughs> that far from here, but it's just in the middle of fucking nowhere. That was there because mm. people worked in the oil field and they basically built a little community. Like shanty town. Yeah, but there was, like, legit houses, and, Uh, like, there's still foundations there. That's a good sign. Right. Totally. I 
Yeah, I spent some time in a camper. There's not a lot doesn't to have a foundation. do there other than maybe camp, ride four wheelers. Try to blow yourself. I'm Try to blow meth. yourself. Yeah. Meth? meth? There's probably a little meth out there. Uh, it's New Mexico. There's meth everywhere New in New Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> New Mexico. <laughs> that's what we're. That's You're from uh, Ignacio. You get it. I'm fucking nine miles from New Mexico. Yeah. yeah. Goat heads, green chili. Yeah, all green that chili shit. and meth is the major export in New Mexico. <laughs> you no, know, they're really nice. I. <laughs> I would like to talk shit about them a lot, but then when I go down I'm there, from they're there, nice so as I hell. Can. Well, I'm close enough, I yeah. feel. Fuck Ignacio. yeah. You're one of us, Callie. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. yeah. But I grew a up little on, bit better. I grew up on Navajo Lake on the New Mexico side. So nice. once you hit Ignacio, you were like almost to the lake. Perfect. And you, I'm heading out there on Monday. Nice. You guys want to go? Lake day. <sighs> I got to work, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. I'm a service industry piece of shit, so. Right. I have Thursday, Fridays I off. I do stuff on Mondays. Mm, that's almost service industry bullshit. Right. Yeah. Which means I have to work on the weekends. But my job isn't bad. I already went to work today. I got mm-hmm. paid. Now I'm drinking beer, smoking weed with you. And mm-hmm. you. We're both wearing white shirts. I know. It's the only white shirt I own. Nice. We, yeah. uh, apparently our brains link up all the time. Because we'll, like, we'll both wear flannel. green accents, too. I know. It's, mm. it's really gay. Hella gay. <laughs> <laughs> Hella gay. Yeah, that's... That's that New Mexico. I'm okay with yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's uh, so much of it. Hella. Boosting I used to say cruising. hella hella a lot. I mean, it's a, like I a West still Coast do, thing too. Or all the time. Right. Yeah. Did you start saying low key? I have actually. Yeah. All the time. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, you ruined me with the low key shit. It's Betsy's fault. Nice. Betsy started it. Nice. Oh, I have news, and I haven't told <laughs> Phil this. And I haven't told the listeners this because I felt like when Callie came on would be the perfect oh time to share this. I finally fucked my pocket pussy. <laughs> my dad's going to be so proud of you. Nice. Phil's dad, who's been single for a long time. <laughs> my dad's just already surprised you got out of the house. Right. <laughs> Phil's dad's been single for a long time. So, you know, fucking a pocket pussy has become more and more normalized in his brain. And we were joking about it at a bar. Mm-hmm. And then he bought me one. And to be mm. fair, I challenged him. You can't challenge my dad. I he cha- will buy you a pocket He was like, pussy. I'll get you one. And I was like, fuck yeah, I'll definitely <laughs> fuck that thing. And sure enough, he got me one. And then it was kind of weird. You know, I just put it in the drawer. I did get laid like pretty regularly mm-hmm. after I got it. So there wasn't like the need. Mm-hmm. But the other night, what night was it? Was it Thursday? I don't know. Might have been Thursday. I wasn't there. But yeah, lady couldn't come over. Unfortunately. I, I had a little buzz going on. I was I was excited from the comedy, <laughs> you know. I hadn't done comedy in a week and a half. And I just figured I'd light a couple candles. You were and, feeling yourself? Yeah, go for the dance. Well, I was feeling a pocket pussy. How was it? Did you watch Better porn? than jerking off. Yes, I did. Yeah. Better it's than jerking off. Way weird to not I mean, watch porn. I mean, that's a compliment, I feel. It was definitely better than jerking off. Nice. I mean, jerking off doesn't have the level of cleanup so that's involved. So, I'm assuming it's just like the tube kind, or did mm-hmm. you get the kind with like the prosthetic ass? Too? No, no, not. <laughs> it was like, a gift. That seems like too much. That's that something you buy like yourself. kind of fun, sure. yeah. Right. Well, I could be I into it. I am an ass man, you know. I, mean, I like tits as well, but. It's not a deal breaker. Yeah, I don't know why people have to choose between tits and ass. Right. You know? Can't you like everything? Mm-hmm. Mm. I like everything. Right. Definitely. Yeah. I don't, I'm, not, uh, I'm not prejudiced at all. Right. Perfect. Mostly dicks. <laughs> everything. I'm like... Mm. Like I said, I'm not prejudiced right. at all. I got you. But do you think it's a weird thing for a dude to have a pocket pussy, Callie? No. Not at all. No. Nope. No stigma whatsoever. Because I feel mm-hmm. like there's a bit of a stigma around it. Every girl I've ever had sex with or had a good friendship <laughs> with has told me about it, their vibrator. To a lot of people, okay. it's, it seems more oh, right. weird than a girl having a vibrator, yeah. And mine doesn't even vibrate, which I'm kind of bummed I mean, your dad's. There's something out. funnier about like imagining a guy... With a pocket pussy, just like I've dated a lot of guys that were and... in and out of prison, so it's like normal. Okay, <laughs> that's why we so get along. I'm like, mm. Yeah, I'm like, you know, no, not so, at all. You didn't. Are have we to, recording? You didn't have to make your own pocket pussy. So. Okay, got it. Another man gave it to you, so that's kind of weird, but it's a weird gift. Someone's father. Yeah, my best yeah. friend's father. Daddy. He's he's almost <laughs> like an uncle to me. <laughs> Never call him daddy. <laughs> <laughs> he'll see this he'll be pumped you called him daddy yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah perfect but yeah it's almost 
Phil's dad's almost like an uncle to me, mm-hmm. but like a really cool uncle. Yeah. You know, the, I I think it's great. I have no judgment. Right, right. Yeah, it was weird for him. He he said it was kind of weird yeah. to buy it. Yeah, it was weird accepting it to give it to you. It was weird. It was weird the handoff from you to me even. Yeah. And it was in a black bag and it felt dirty. But I think we got to get over that stigma. You know, sexual equality. Mm-hmm. Girls can have sex toys, so should guys. Right. Yeah. I think we're just cheaper than you. Cheaper? I think girls need toys kind of more than you do. You guys are good we at can fuck getting it done with really your hands. Easily. Pressure so. and friction. Right. <laughs> yeah. And uh, <laughs> I think that we need a, a bit of assistance sometimes. Okay. So it's more Tiny normal. Tiny bit complicated. Because I know girls that bring dildos to the sack like every time they fuck someone. Hmm. It's unfortunate. That just I know. seems like or they've vibrators, had bad experiences. Vibrators? It's mm-hmm. like they have to have a vibrator to get off. I know girls. I didn't say I huh. am girls, but huh. yeah. What if you, this friend I have, do you, <laughs> do you think it's a tolerance? <laughs> no. I don't think I so. I don't know if that, I have no idea. Because I stopped watching porn for like months and mm-hmm. my imagination came back, you know? Mm. All of a sudden I could just jerk off without it. Like, it wasn't as Did it get weird? Intense. Did, like weird things. All of a sudden you're on a unicorn and you're like, what the fuck? It's weird about that. Oh, well, okay. That's what turns I me on. I don't <laughs> the know. The unicorns. I don't know. I think it's just, uh, it's different. Like, masturbation is different for men and women, for sure. Like, boys, like I'm saying, you guys are like, oh, what's this? Oh, if I do this, this happens. And you're pros at it from age 11. Right. And I know <laughs> girls that are my age that have never made themselves come. So, like, it's all Which is weird, weird. right? Weird. Do you think it's shame? Like, what, what do you think prevents it's that? It's not... I, you don't know it's there because for girls it's not prevalent i guess you know what i mean right you have like a couple accidental orgasms like riding your horse or whatever that was or whatever i had a horse accident like, you know what i'm saying so i don't know like i don't know what it is stigma or what i think more girls do it than admit it at a young age huh but I don't know what it is. Yeah, because guys are you like guys are just comparing nasty. notes. You're like, yeah. look at my weenie. No, my brother mm-hmm. and his friends, when they were like 12 years old, they used to fucking circle jerk all the time. There was like five of them in the what? neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> like touching each other's dicks? No. Oh, no, no, no. Just just, they would watch porn together and like have a race to see who could come the fastest. <laughs> all the time. That's not to this, that weird, it's, I guess. It's, none of them are gay. None so of them are even like say, really now gay. Now your brother has no. a husband. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Nor do any of these boys. No. I can introduce you, you to don't. them or name them for you if you'd like. And they're all local guys. We can guys. all watch pterodactyl you can porn shame together. the fuck out of some dudes if you want. But uh, seems we don't like have the kind to. of guys I need in my corner to get a Dutch Yeah, no, going, they're, you know? they're, 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 <laughs> but like to this day, my brother's is like, yeah, so and so, he was always the fastest. <laughs> <laughs> Right. You don't realize at that young age what you're setting yourself up for down the line. Hopefully. I've called him out on it as adults now because my brother's only, you know, five years, five, six years younger than me. So I've, right. I've made fun of him. And then they're like, this is why we always hated you. I was at a party and one of my friends <laughs> came on my other friend's face while he was sleeping. Like it was funny. And I like woke up in the middle of it and like me and him locked eyes when he came on my friend's face. It is funny. Now. <laughs> it was I was like thirteen. It was fucking terrifying then. I was did not understand what was going on. I mean I kinda did. Hmm. But I kinda didn't. Right. And nobody else was awake. He was like it was like a prank. <laughs> But he was like by himself not a with prank. a bunch See, of sleeping people. I feel like that's more I feel gay. like I might have been next if I didn't wake woke up and I was woke. Right. And I left. Right. I mean, my brother and, and his friends, they're always competitive. Terrified, they and have... they know who they are. See? <laughs> wow. I'm not gonna Brian. S- I'm not no. going to name names. No, it wasn't Brian. No, I met his wife. <laughs> mm-hmm. Strangely enough, she seemed like she was trying to fuck me, so. <laughs> Maybe they're, he's just a super freak, and he found himself a super, super freak. Super freaky. He was kind of a dick. Yeah, definitely a dick. <laughs> yeah. No pun intended. How was his dick, by the way? We've never talked about it. Packing a piece? Yeah. For, oh, when we were 13, I was right. Us, I was, you were like, that's not what mine looks was, like. Yeah, pretty shame. That was Another, pretty shame. Uh, that happens. I'm just going to bring this up. My sister got married in Tennessee. That's why I was in Tennessee, as I think you probably both know. I knew that. And Whatever. we went to a water park <laughs> a couple days before. <laughs> and afterwards, we were kind of, you know, rinsing off the public, as it were. Mm-hmm. And my brother-in-law, my new brother-in-law, 
I don't think he could be bummed I said this, but he was just showering with his boxers on, but curtain open, mm. and homie's packing a hammer. He's like 6'4", oh, 6'5", six, six, which it. it makes sense. You know what I mean? Right. And I kind of have a little more respect for him now. I don't know why. It's weird. That's he's a good that's dude. Primal. It makes sense. That he's he's going to be dick. a good leader. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. He's tall. He's got a big dick. He drives a one-ton diesel. Like, leader yeah. material. Your sister scored. Yeah. You see why. Totally. Like, all right. This yeah. makes sense. And it was a shotgun wedding. Oh, is she knocked up? Yeah. Perfect. And... We have a Mormon. Well, my dad married into Mormons when I was like four or five. Mm -hmm. So grew up with a Mormon family. So I don't know how everybody feels about it, but I'm still not allowed to drink beer in front of the family. I don't fucking understand. Like, Ooh. obviously, she broke the rules. That's You can't drink beer in front of your family? Not in front of my grandma in particular. My Mormon grandmother is Ooh. very particular. What about cocaine? We did it like most of the time, <laughs> but, but no beer. The Mormons, Coke beer. and Coke, Coca right. Cola and and uh, Coca Cane. How do you fuel Coca the cane. polygamy? Mm -hmm. Cocaine. I said, how do you fuel the polygamy? Unless you have cocaine. You can bring the mic down to you. <gasps> it moves I? so far. Uh, I don't It'll want go to. everywhere. Every time it comes by my face. It just brilliance feels happens. Feels like a dick. No. It does. Oh, it feels like a dick. <laughs> Weird. Maybe you should put it down lower like this, and then you just uh, act like you're on stage. Whatever. I, works. I mean, it's closer I'm to your tits. I don't know if that has anything there. to do with no, it. Right. Fine. Fuck. I forget it's there actually. Right. After a while, we've done yeah. it so many You're times. Definitely getting there. Oh, oh I see what you're. You're gonna hold it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold it. He did better than my dad. Yeah, I was I correcting his mic a lot. I'm old. He so. was worried about it, too. You guys, I've never seen a podcast <laughs> or the internet. So. You've never oh, seen you've the seen the internet. I've yeah. heard you say. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, everybody. There's more to the internet that. than porn, is what I'm telling you. Oh. There is? Really? I mean, I there's our podcast, which is audio porn. I thought of we sorts. just did this for ourselves. I did not know there was anything but porn on the internet. Ah. I mean, I'm just kidding. I work from home. We have a few videos on you porn, like just me and Phil doing the helicopter. <laughs> you know, we're trying to build a larger audience. And what website has a larger audience? You're going to turn people off doing that. Okay. That's what I told him. Yeah. But <laughs> believe You're going to be like Elliot. It's like, that's not appealing. I love Elliot. <laughs> me too. I just want to talk shit right. about his ass that I have to look at now for God knows I never thought long. about it. Maybe we should hang it. Well... I want it in the camera. It's fine. So that's where it goes. Yeah. But I'm not gonna not mention it. It's very wrong. It's it's a artistic piece. Yeah. It's not too bad. Also, he's it's not a, even it's a he's nice not ass. even a fucking bartender. No. So that's what's it's a lie. He does work at a brewery, <laughs> which is very different. Yes. Yeah, they make their own beer, and they don't have a lot of spirits. Hmm. <laughs> the spirits and have I been have fucked spirit. out of them. Yeah. Just kidding. No, I'm just talking shit. No. <laughs> it's okay. It's what we do. Comedians. And he's leaving town soon. I'm going to talk so know, much more shit about him. He's going to be so replaced. <sighs> I feel like it's almost there, you know? Like, Jacob and Josh left, and we're like, who are those guys? Yeah. On Get the other the side out. of it, Jacob is not responding to the things I'm saying, and I'm just trying to talk shit, but I feel like he's big-timing me, and it bums me out. He's not big-timing you. It feels like it is. He's not allowed to. I mean... Don't be bummed out. He bums me out. I don't know. Why are you wow. bummed out, buddy? I don't know. Jacob stopped talking to me. I miss him. Wow. <laughs> I have a crush on him, apparently. Everybody does. Everybody knew that. It's true. Yeah. He's almost as hot as his sister, which is an accomplishment. They look mm. very similar. You put a wig on Good him. Good looking family. Yeah. I did see them at a graduation dinner, I think, or something. Mm. What'd you think of her? She was pretty. Right. They looked alike. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely looked alike. Mm-hmm. So you work on Friday nights? Mm-hmm. That's why you never come to the rabbit hole? That's right. I never go to the rabbit hole, yes. I talked about shit in my pants last night, and I thought of you. Oh, <laughs> I missed it. You finally got the balls to admit you shit in your pants in front of everyone? I've done it on here multiple times. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. We have multiple outlets. It must have been a recent shit. Well, I almost shit my pants in Tennessee, which was oh. what the story was like supposed to be about. And then I thought about the time when I last shit my pants. And that was funny. So mm -hmm. I figured I'd tell them about that. 
Mm-hmm. And the rabbit hole is not real receptive as it is. So I was just talking about shit in my pants like to myself, basically. And two comics that were paying attention. So that was fun. Well, good. Yeah. That, that scares me. Comedy's fun. What, shit it in your pants? It is scary. No. Just talking to comedians. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be funny in front of comedians. Dave I'm, said I look like a professional skater that turned into a school shooter. <laughs> I was wearing an American flag shirt. I could see that. Right. It's pretty accurate. He's good at that. He is good at it. I feel like he needs to just read a list of but roasts. On the other hand, Dave kind of looks like a school shooter who turned into a school shooter. <laughs> <laughs> I like Dave. Go, yeah, he's he's the nicest guy. Yeah, he was actually talking about doing another podcast with us. Nice. I was like, I like podcasts. Yeah. I think he wants to do like a podcast. Right. So I was like, we'll fucking do the goddamn thing. Set up a space, brah. Yeah, get us a studio. We're going to have to sit on beanbag chairs if we do it at his house. He's like, this is my studio, and you can't stand up in there for sure. Like, this chair, you could sit in the middle, but you couldn't sit, like, on the sides. Mm. You know? That sounds cramped. It's very small. Why don't you let him do it here? Fuck that. Well, it's Phil's house. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm uh, just kidding. You know, he's... Let's, know. We got four mics now. Four mics. Yeah. Wow, it's going, pretty sweet. Going up in the it's world. Pretty sweet. This is cool. Not bad. For a little little spot mm-hmm. in yeah. the corner. This used to be my room. This is yeah. where I used to make love and jerk off to others and it to myself. Weird. Pre- <laughs> 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 Actually, now that you mention it, he hasn't lived here in like two years, so that's no, probably that's, me. That's Phil. Oh, that's me. Phil. Oh, it's my favorite spot. I got my tractor in I here. I guess he can jerk off in here if he feels like it. Right, and he can feel my. <laughs> My spirit, yeah. Where I used to jerk off. It was right about where Phil said actually. That's where my bed was. Oh. Right on the edge. Hmm. Perfect. You look out hmm. the window. Nice so, yeah, sunny it's, day. It's not a great view. No. It's just the trees. Well, yeah. I like trees. Yeah. Trees are good. Keep the oxygen could, could shade. Mhm. <laughs> it's better than looking Next into someone the else's house tree. and then like yeah. making eye contact with someone accidentally. I, that's my favorite actually. Mm. Is it? Mm-hmm. You seem like a shy whacker. Like, I don't think you would enjoy that. No? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a little both. A little of both? Feels like a like two-way maybe a mirror. peak? Yeah. Feels more into eye contact than I am. Oh. Like they need to be able to see me, but I don't want to see them. <laughs> Damn it. That's really fucked up. <laughs> he tints his windows the opposite way. <laughs> oh, okay. Perfect. Good. Yeah. No, that's that's definitely what happens. My neighbors really don't like me anymore. Yeah. I get it. My neighbors planted extra trees in between our house, so now they can't see my dick anymore. Was that the reason? Pretty sure. I mean, I like to fuck with the, the blinds open, you know, others or myself, again. Mm-hmm. Or my new pocket pussy, Sherry. <laughs> Sherry? <laughs> I'm definitely calling before I come over now. <laughs> I always was going to, but like 100%. So it was good. Better than no. jerking off, he said. That's For sure. Good. It's definitely better. It's a high it's something rank. to fuck other than your hand. Right. You still got to hold it. Mm-hmm. For yeah. the record. Like, right, yeah. Uh, MacGyver or something. I mean, I know how it works. <laughs> I understand how it works, Brian. I gotcha. Yeah. He made his own gr- glory hole cut into the... Just cut a hole in my wall. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I mean, he's Neighbors probably are like, going to. Weed? <laughs> nope. Nope. Shut fuck my He's house. Like, that is a great idea. Well, well I what have is this hole? At the weirdest times. That's my glory hole. <laughs> I could be into it. Could I'm you? gonna live forever. I, I don't would know. be very scared to actually put my dick in a glory hole, like at a truck stop. Uh, I think you should be. Yeah, that's where yeah, it's a lot of a lot of guys aren't. That's what's crazy. Well. They'll just stick their dick in a hole, not knowing what's on the other side, and most likely it's a dude with a beard. Which yeah. is probably that's me. Maybe he's really good at it. My gay homie said nobody can please a man like a man. Sounded real convincing. I understand that. I yeah. believe it. Yeah. I just don't think I could like it. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'd have to. It'd have to be a glory hole. I'd have to imagine. No, but you would feel the whiskers. Hair. Maybe you know. Yeah. That's why I have no to imagine whiskers. it was a dude with less hair. Because it's always a dude. It's never going to be a girl. <sighs> it's unfortunate. And if yeah, it is, girls it's porn is such a rough. liar. Mouth sores and shit. That's not what you're looking for. If it is, she's gonna be on the other side, like twenty dollars. 
<laughs> and then you stick your money through, and then, and then it's runs. still a dude. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a dude. Definitely. With nails. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, it's calluses. like, you know, having a sex conversation on the internet, as long as you think they're a girl, they're a girl, right? But 90, 90% of the time, they're not girls. You think? I highly doubt it. Uh, Hot blonde 18. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> that's Brian. Yeah. I'm just trying to get material True. any way I can. You know, if I have to act like a girl on the internet, talk Sweet. to lonely dudes. Because you want to get it authentically. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You can't, Which sucks. You got to live Because it. it's like, fuck, I need some more funny shit to happen. There's this guy on YouTube that he like tries to connect with child molesters and acts like children and then makes a video about it and meets him at Kmart and exposes him, <laughs> chases him down. But it's just weird. And it's weird that I sat there and watched a whole episode of it. Cops do that. Yeah, but this guy, like, he, it's almost like a Dexter situation. You know, like, he seems like he's fighting urges himself, so he exposes other people. Oh, It's yikes. weird. It was, like, weird vibe. This was weird. Could be. There's obviously a worse way to go about it, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, actually hooking up a little kid. Right. Yeah. That's pretty bad. That's fucked up. I don't want to think about that Sorry. right now. Sorry. I don't know. I, we had, I took this down a wrong, a bad road. It's okay. It was just interesting to me that this guy dedicated his whole life to finding child molesters. Sure had a bit about it. Yeah. I didn't do it. Yeah, the reaction I got from you guys, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know how funny that could be. It could be funny. I'm fucking stuck under the table, it feels like. Okay, there we go. Bad posture times. Oh, I have horrible posture. Especially in here. It's better. I, just trying to get comfy. So, yeah, it's fine. Huh. I'll be okay. I sit to the side yeah. all day long because I sit here on the computer. Long. Yeah, and I'm like, my sciatic back here just fucking mm -hmm. hurts. Mm -hmm. I have to be. Maybe, uh, uh, you know, fix your chair. You live here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know much. Of, uh, yeah, it's just in the way I sit. You don't feel like it? <laughs> I'm not gonna stop. I worked that. at a gas station <laughs> on the marina, and uh, I got that a lot. Hey, the fill, fill her up. <laughs> I know it's so fucking dumb, and <laughs> stupid, and <laughs> corny. Especially and when it was like rich but assholes. Like, oh yeah, with <laughs> fill her up. Hundred thousand yeah, dollar boats and the boats full of hot mm -hmm. chicks and they're just they're like going living their best hot life. Hot chicks that we go to high school You're, with, like, and then they minimum wage. Yeah, they don't even yeah. tip you. They used to they sit there to fill up there. They don't even tip you, bastards. Rich people that em. don't tip should. Well, they're definitely going to hell if there is one, right? That guy lives here in Durango. Yeah, call I see him dodgeball him all he the looks time. Like I saw him yesterday. In dodgeball. Mm. And he's kind of like that. Interesting. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. He's a real piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I see him all the time. Now I want to see him. I bet I know who he I is if he's a too. local dude. Uh -huh. He's always at the ranch on Thursdays. What? Okay, you have to show me this dude now. I will. Yeah. I guarantee he doesn't listen the to this podcast. The asshole late guy. Asshole late guy. Everybody yeah. knows him. Nobody likes him. But he's got mm -hmm. money, so people tolerate him. Hang around. Yeah, it's weird. Fuck. Seems to be a lot of people in life. That's why I know people hang around me. It's like genuine because I have no money. Mm -hmm. Not cute. Me you know, too. I'm kind of. I a think piece you're of shit. adorable, Cal. No, I know. I halfway I like because halfway because you. So. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. I have charisma. It's Good. Cool. <laughs> I get it. Uh, I have charisma. <laughs> I have charisma so much. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, uh, buttholes? buttholes? What about them? What about Callie them? taught me how to stretch mine. I can almost get my biggest dildo wow. in there now. That is... She taught She progress. a taught, room full of people. Yeah, because, you know, your energy can get clogged sometimes, so you just take a knee and... Open up your butthole and give it a nice little stretch, a little hmm. wink, let the energy flow. Like a Tebow knee? Like a mouth. Tim Tebow yeah, style exactly knee? Like a Tim, yeah. But you gotta, you know, make sure it's nice and wide. Mm. So there's like a nice canyon back there. That just lets out bad spirits. Yeah, wink it a little bit. Bad energies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wink it. <laughs> don't let the energy flow the wrong way, though. Huh. For sure. I feel like, yeah, maybe I need to do that. I think. I got, does it help with hemorrhoids? It. I've never had a hemorrhoid, surprisingly. Hmm. Really? Yeah. Even through pregnancy, which I hear a lot I, uh, of people get. I've had other problems. I sit on the toilet or push too hard, apparently. 
sit, sit on the I toilet too I've long. also had hemorrhoid <laughs> situations. Yeah? Not great. Are you guys not eating fiber? I eat plenty of fiber. I drink six beers a night. <laughs> I definitely <laughs> have. <laughs> yeah. I definitely had a shitty diet. Like. Shitty diet. Yeah. For quite some time. Now I'm conscious about it, but. Yeah. That for a long time. Now I realize how it makes me feel, you know? I didn't do, I didn't uh-huh. smoke any weed while I was in Tennessee and I took a dab last night before uh-huh. I went to do comedy and I was fucked up for the first 45 minutes I was at the bar and like right before Dave called my name, I like got a little bit of clarity. <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> let's do this. What am I doing here? Yeah, it's intense. I, uh, I had to, I, well, I've smoked weed like since I was 15 pretty much except when I was pregnant, but, uh. I had to quit. I was on probation. Joint. And I thought it was, I thought it was real cool at first, but then I, I, I was like, oh yeah, I have so much energy and this is great. But then I realized I hated it. But when I started smoking weed again, I was like tripping balls. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh fuck, yeah, I am fine and shit. I fucking had paranoia for two hours driving to New Orleans and I get why almost people turned don't around like weed. and yeah, I like had to reacclimate myself. Of course I did. I was like, just keep taking more. You can do it, but yeah. yeah. My lady, she was. <laughs> it's a fun time. She's the biggest pothead. When we were growing up, like she would get scared when we didn't have pot, or right. I would always have to make sure that I left fight. her enough weed that. So she didn't beat your ass. Nah, never really fought. Oh. But sorry. She got. I just assume everybody's <laughs> fighting. <laughs> no, we actually don't. Fight. <laughs> but she stopped smoking because she got sick and then just stopped for a couple weeks and the next time she smoked she got so paranoid and her mind won't stop racing uh-huh. and like now she can't really smoke weed anymore unless it's like right before we go to bed mm-hmm. or cramps yeah it helps a lot apparently it does that yeah you know, helps you? everything I but like weed. I I'm love weed. Too. It makes me so happy and it makes mm-hmm. me silly which I enjoy mm-hmm. and it lets me not be I'm like a workaholic in a in a weird way. Like my dad broke me, mm-hmm. kind of like just so much work at the house that mm-hmm. it was just a way of life. Mm-hmm. Now all I can think about is the shit I got to get done. It's hard for me to kick it, you know. But weed allows me to just like fuck it, mm-hmm. you know. It adds that little fuck it you need to life sometimes. Right, and it kind of has the opposite effect of me when I'm being a piece of shit. It's like, hey, you need to fucking get up and do something, and then I get anxiety and paranoid because i'm not doing anything which is weird i think maybe it makes it easier to enjoy the present moment and that's like the fuck it or the get up and do something or whatever it's like you can enjoy just fucking kicking your like kicking back or whatever and that's why i promote weed parenting (laughs) but no it's like you're like oh i could just sit down here and play with the kids by the river forever for sure and they said they uh, there was this doctor that did a study of Rastafarian moms and she was like, they're just like engaged with their kids all the time. So they're just like kicking back and definitely the most loved kids leveling Rastafarian kids. They are. I'm a way know. better uncle when I'm hot. I mean, yeah, it <laughs> takes the edge off. Kids are pricks for sure. They have no etiquette. They have no etiquette. No, and it's, that's their parents fault. Well, because they don't know shit yet. Do you have kids? I don't. Okay. <laughs> but I understand. You try. It's a constant battle. Like, yeah. it's, they come up with new shit every fucking day. <laughs> where they're like, we were camping over the weekend and my daughter, like, pissed in the middle of the campsite. And I'm like, seriously? Like, right in, right here? Like, you know what I mean? It's just. It's like the. Ex- they're just kids. The they're just one excited. Place. They're dumb. Yeah, yeah, you just go around the corner or go right over here, whatever. We're wilderness fucking woodsy, you know. No, but the outhouse was far away. Yeah. Who cares if you pee, but right here. I got sent home from daycare because I was peeing by the slide. And I mm. told him that that's what me and my dad do at home. Mm. It's just it's normal where I lived. We just peed outside. I still do. I I'm, do. I, at least once a day. Yeah. I walk out on my front porch and I take a piss. It's lovely. I probably pee outside more than I do inside. Me too. See, I so you want to talk shit about kids? You guys are kids. No, I'm just kidding. I, I, I love property. talking shit about kids. 30s they're, is the new 20. Buttholes. I feel like, <coughs> I don't know. For some people. If 30 is the new 20, then I had my kids when I was 10. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Got well, an early start. You had to grow I'm up. Gonna, you I'm had to be grow up faster. Early. It was like my parents were 17 and 19 mm-hmm. when they had me, and they just 
fast. Yeah, they had to grow up way faster. They didn't get. I got to fuck mm-hmm. off in my twenties and not have a whole lot of responsibilities mm-hmm. other than my dogs. I'm okay. Um, and it, yeah, it that's seemed true. like once when you have kids younger, uh, you got to grow up a little faster. Also, my kid had to grow up with me a little bit. Like the older one, I had her when she, I was twenty, which is still pretty young. Fuck and yeah. I was an idiot. Then I went through like a bunch of dumb shit till I was like about twenty seven, twenty eight, when I started like actually trying to build a life or not, yeah. not just be like I'd say whatever. Right. <laughs> so she had to like witness that so I actually because then I have her sister who's like six years younger than her and there's a lot she didn't have to deal with just because you know she wasn't there from 20 to 25 uh. which Layla's fine she's totally fine but <laughs> <laughs> as a parent you do have guilt about everything you're like that one time all they wanted was a chocolate milk and you were just a dick <laughs> that's <laughs> life though <laughs> yeah. it's all right it's fine yeah my mom gets super sentimental now because she's just always like oh wait i should have held you more when i was a baby or when oh, you yeah. were a baby and i should have done this there's she just regrets all the things that she wished she would have mm-hmm. done differently and mm-hmm. she but, she was like hardcore into her career at the time and then got MS and she has MS now and she wishes that she just would have chilled out not and not worried about the work moment. so much. She should have been, been a Rasta mom kids. smoking yeah. weed, been with her kids. No, I'm but just they gave us a good life. Definitely. Well, which is good. And me and Phil are both the first children in our families, you know, so I kind of get that like. My dad wrecked with me on the back of a crotch rocket in a parking lot when I was like seven. <laughs> mm, I'm the oldest too, of four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you have to play mom? Uh, my mom Did your parents was work a lot? 16 when she had me, and then by the time she was 24, she had four kids total. So powerful. Oh yeah, I had to raise those little sons of bitches, and they're ungrateful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> little bastards. Yeah, I don't want, make me not want kids. <sighs> I was, and we were poor too, and I was the oldest of four, and I was always like, why did you keep having kids? Because I totally. knew, like, my friend that was the only child, and her mom didn't have as good a job as my mom. I knew my mom had a better job than this bitch, but she had all this stuff. Because she, Because yeah. her mom knew how to fucking not keep popping out fucking kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, fuck. This is bull- bullshit. No, she tried. She did a good job. She try to give us you know everything she could and stuff but i definitely grew up poor in ignacio on the same block as the tp lounge if you know what that is you should find out i do yeah yeah Mm -hmm. i've been there what's the rally i saw joan jet and then got fucked up at sidekicks and the tp lounge just back and forth yeah i've only (laughs) i grew up you know there but i've only been in the tp i think once as yeah, ever. Yeah. As an adult or and I've only partied in Ignacio yeah. one night. Yeah. Well, I've partied <laughs> Never there partied in Ignacio. a lot, a lot, a lot. But uh and the one night I went in there, me and my sister went in there to try to talk a uh, Mexican, any Mexican, because they like to go there to dance into giving us cocaine mm. which he did get buy some for us, but he wasn't even a cokehead, and then we went out in the woods. First we had to go to our house and get tinfoil from our mom's kitchen first mm. and then we didn't have like baking soda and shit so we were just like hawking loogies on the foil and like smoking coke nice. like that in front of this like <laughs> fancy nice Powerful. mexican that uh was like the, probably the craziest night of his life and then my sister sometimes when you do crack or coke you like have to shit right away uh-huh. <laughs> so she had to like run out in the woods and then she just like Kelly. Kelly and I fucking go out there and she's like I need something to wipe my ass with <laughs> just, and I'm like go back to the truck and hawk a loogie and put it on some tinfoil it's a real, it real good night nice me, fuck yeah me and Jay Bird I had some really weird nights definitely mm. cocaine definitely had to poop things like that mm-hmm. yeah it was I've never smoked a cocaine loogie though that's never a loogie just a, yeah, just that's new for me yeah I distinctly Just remember watching little... my sister spit on that. I've seen her spit on other things too. We were huh. gross. Okay. Can I get a lighter? <laughs> <laughs> Dirt bike. It's our uh, safe word. Oh, are you guys getting scared? <laughs> no. We only use it for the guest. Uh, this is why I love you. That's why I wanted you in here. I want more of this. I want to really know who Callie is. <laughs> that was like 12 years ago. So right. I was like 24, 25. 
It's about the right time Which, to start doing dumb shit. Yeah. Uh, no, to stop. Mm. <laughs> I had to stop that boy. I'm like 29. Uh, I was still kind of. I kind of. <laughs> I stopped doing drugs around like, tw- around like 25. I'll occasionally do them, but I, of course, as you guys all know, tried meth once for like three years. So. Right. Um. Yeah, it's a. Uh, pretty so you, much no you, drugs. You're aware then, you but... like drugs. Yeah, 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 totally. Right. That's my issue. I fucking love drugs. I love coffee. I like alcohol. I was in love with nicotine. Like. I have yeah and cocaine obviously big mm-hmm. fan <laughs> see I don't love cocaine so I could like do some lines and not really care but yeah I, it's not I, my favorite I liked meth a lot because you just you're high forever right you're a total weirdo so I was when I found out or found out about acid yeah just um, like that's yeah. a long ash trip and it is a great day but you really gotta like plan for that day that you know yeah that's a whole other But we high. used to just be like 8 o'clock at night, like, you guys want to do some acid? Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah, we only have, we don't have to work till 7 a.m. Or just, just we sell weed and we don't have to work tomorrow mm-hmm. other than go sell weed. And then we did that, yeah. That too, Then I went to jail. Yeah. It was yeah. like a year later, though. We had a... Oh, so you're saying you're trying to give yourself, like, leeway to continue doing dumb shit. No, not quite. Because you're not 29 yet. You're like 29. That's when you stop. That was him. <laughs> that's me. I'm 29. I'm like, wait, wait. I get it. I've done. Well, I started I've early. Done way I less started very dumb shit early this year so. than ever in my life. I think you guys are doing okay. I was doing real like I, yeah, I was doing real dumb shit. It's interesting. Do you think that's just because you grew up in a small town with nothing at all to do, and then? <sighs> You had yeah. fun for the first time. You're like, let's keep having I fun. I mean, yeah, and it, I mean, honestly, there's not nothing else to do out there besides drugs, and there's a lot of money out there, mm-hmm. and all your friends. Have, I mean, I don't know. I'm not blaming Ignacio. Right, free drugs <laughs> are my favorite. Small drugs, town so. mixed with a lot of drugs is like like extra right. drugs in a regular small town. Yes. Also, it's kind of the way Farmington was. grew grew up in an abusive household, right? And then like have had like abusive relationships mm-hmm. that. So yeah, I think those things all went hand in hand for sure. It's definitely the right like combination of situations, yeah, you know? and the right recipe for. And now I have a lot of stories. Being super into drugs, you know. And I was always like, they're mad at me because I dropped out of college twice. I'm just trying to experience life. So I mean, at least I got some fucking stories out of the deal. Yeah, I think that's how my my dad feels about this podcast now. <laughs> he's like, oh, some of this shit I didn't want to know. But yeah. Now he's just like, yeah. well, you know, who am I to say what is good? What a, what's a good life path to take? You know, as long as you're not hurting anybody else. Right. Yeah. Me and my dad talked about cocaine on a deck in Tennessee over a beer. Hey. Yeah. Wow. But if it wasn't for this podcast, we probably wouldn't be at that level. Like he yeah. started listening and then mm. I definitely said some shit that he was like, called me and he's like, just so you know, this, this, and this. I'm like, well, shit, my dad, my bad dad. I'm like, but now we have a pretty goddamn strong relationship. We talk a lot. We can talk about almost anything. No. Yeah. I mean, he's aware I fucked with pocket pussy now. <laughs> Yeah, he's been he's been aware of that for a while. We all are. I mean, we're now all aware. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm okay with it. Yeah. I feel like people have been waiting. There's worse things. At least Phil's dad's been waiting. The big cheese. Now he came he, on the podcast. Now he knows. Yeah. He and did not come on the podcast. He came on Correct. the podcast. <laughs> yeah, he did. That was all over this thing. That was him, very censored, because my little cousin Kaylee was here. Oh. They were both a little weird. I wish we could have had them in individually. Mm. And we would have got the full Better. the full story about like Kaylee's porn star friends. <laughs> Damn it. I there's, know. There's a she's recently paralyzed and there's like paralyzed porn stars hitting her up. Oh no. And, you know. I probably just letting her know that there's alternative careers, mm-hmm. you know. The brighter side of things. How old is she? 24. Oh, okay. When you first started talking about this, I thought she was like a kid, like 10 or 11. No, and I'm no. Like, Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> there's options for you. It's there's, a fair question. There's, to, to, my, to my dad, she's still like 10 or 11, you know. Morales, oh, yeah. Hard for yeah, him to, I could see that. Like, I think 
He talked about sheep fucking. He did talk about yeah, fucking sheep. My uncle's pretty open in front of me. I don't know. Yeah. Uncle's funny. a powerful relationship. Like, I have that relationship with my uncle. Mm-hmm. But maybe the internet aspect of it, you know? Like, I mm-hmm. bet in the truck they probably take it pretty right. far, you know? But maybe just the mic awareness, things yeah. like that. It's mm-hmm. different than being on a stage. Uncle. On a stage, it's like, these people are going to hear this. I don't give a fuck if it's a lie or not. But podcasts turn out to be super genuine. And, like, they're there forever. It's weird. They're there forever, huh? Okay, great. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is going to be online. No, on the internet. Uh, that's okay. The interweb. Perfect. Mm. It's make me feel, like, really in touch with what's going on currently. That's what know? it's all about. It's like public therapy. Public therapy. I feel like that about stand up. Definitely. A lot. And I always get really like scared before I go up, but then I always feel a lot better afterwards. I know seeing how nervous you get made me feel way better about how nervous I get. Like especially like at the competition. Like we were both like super nervous and every time I saw you I was just like, We got this. I was like gonna cry at the end. I was like at the end, I was like, I want my mommy. <laughs> so and it's it the that's what's interesting is like the energy always varies. Mm-hmm. You know, like definitely sometimes the nerves are ten percent. Sometimes they're like a hundred and fifty, and I don't know why. You know, like what really the deal is. So that's a treat. But uh, I guess that's part of it. Do you drink a little bit before? Is there like a, a, a special number or that that right number of I found drinks that... For me, it's like no drinks before. Yeah. Um, I used to drink some. I used to drink a lot. I ha- I, Last week, I was like borderline blackout when I went up there and had a blast. But I forget my jokes. I can't tell my jokes. All this I'm shit. I'm so sad I missed that. Even with, it was so amazing. <laughs> I wish I had like recorded it. Uh, but uh, so, yeah, zero for me. Beca- and because alcohol, too, like a lot of times if I'm drinking, like if I have one, I'm like, let's have 50, baby. Yeah. Let's yeah. do this. So I just wait till I'm done. Or sometimes don't drink at all because... I go to the Thursday night El Rancho mic and it's it's a, normally a school night, you know, and I do have mm-hmm. kids. I have to be awake at 6.30 in the morning and not have shut down the ranch. Yeah. Which can easily, once you pop, you can't stop. Yeah, and then, I have that problem. And then it's... On I'm this like, podcast, oh. too. I've been, I've had to watch myself lately. <laughs> I have to work later, so I, it, with that in mind, it's like, I don't, I not, it's easy to pace myself, yeah. I guess, but yeah. Yeah, for me, mostly. Not saying it's I won't drink. Driving. So if like my boss town. is listening, surely she is. <laughs> <laughs> won't come out till Wednesday. She doesn't care. She's European. <laughs> oh fuck yeah. She's like, yes, have a drink, you alcoholic fuck. No. Really? Europeans that stay in America are usually pretty cool. Mm-hmm. She's it's she an is cool. Distinction. There they, is like they are though. You know what I mean? Cultural distinctions for sure. She's Danish, which there, it's a tiny country. Nobody's Danish. No. It like it's weird. so everything is they're very direct which i appreciate yeah there was a when i lived on the lake there was a it was like my houseboat neighbor like a few slips mm-hmm. down and he was uh dutch from the netherlands i think yep. and he was like the coolest fucking guy it was like because he he took on a lot of the american customs because he'd been here with mm-hmm. his american wife for a long time but then there was like that European flair to him mm-hmm. and he was just he was the coolest fucking dude would come and smoke weed with me He'd be like don't tell my wife <laughs> I don't know why I just sounded Mexican because <laughs> he wasn't at all because <laughs> don't tell my wife fool <laughs> you're like my kid anybody that's foreign she's like hola como estas like, we're at a Chinese restaurant shut the fuck up <laughs> she's all <laughs> I think I remember doing shit like that yeah, yeah. that's pretty funny I'm like god damn it and it's like a genuine <laughs> attempt too you know it's like the best shot they uh, had just fucking blew it yeah it's fine it's good they're probably confused because she's half black and so she's brown curly hair like it's hard to tell her race a lot of people right. are confused so they probably think she is a Mexican and she's just speaking their <laughs> language like <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny thing to think yeah right i get it yeah i mean anybody rolls up to you going oh no people stare at me and that kid all the time they're like trying to figure it out like 
Mm-hmm. 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 Right. <laughs> Definitely no. I'm like, yeah. So I made this it. is your adopted yeah. mom? <laughs> uh-huh. A kid in her class is like, Are, is she, did you adopt her? And I was like, no. And she like looked her up and down. She's like, sure looks like you did. <laughs> like, oh, the kids are fucking assholes. The oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> they have no filter. Well, yeah, it was funny. Older. And it's genuine, it's you know, curiosity. Oh, yeah. They don't, for sure. they don't know. But it's definitely like, whose mom are you? Whose mom are you? Whose mom are you? Why are you with her? Why are you with her? <laughs> that ma'am? <laughs> At the school. It was like, fucking, it's great. We're like, bah, 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 fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but That's awesome. Yeah. Do you have to go to the PTA meetings and stuff and do the mm. whole... Do you tell Dick You jokes? have to like hang out with snooty bitches that you don't really want to do they like you or no but you have to no uh, i don't fuck with those girls yeah. i mean i don't do the pda it's i like work nights in a bar callie ah, you didn't bring the carrot I'm the cake bar this manager. time i bring you know i'll send, it wasn't I'll sugar send free. shit if they ask they're all they're all dicks about snacks she hasn't been able to have nuts at school for like three years because some <laughs> kid will die if there's nuts and then like if, she's like we can't bring chips or they'll throw them away and i'm like if i have chips and i send you with chips to eat for fucking snack like that's your snack you know but um for sure the, my older daughter is all involved in dance like the which I can't afford she's all scholarshiped out on it and stuff which is great but she chose that life and she made me a dance mom and like there's definitely like a dance mom friended me on Facebook and then just unfriended me the next day I don't know why <laughs> he like to this day that was before I was even like posting comedy or anything I'm like what the fuck maybe like a weed meme or something so no I don't they're they're nice to me but they're definitely like side-eyeing me all the time it's like pity yeah. nice probably they're like doctor's wives and shit so that's beautiful people uh, real fucking treat <laughs> they're not all like that there's yeah. not all doctor's wives i love you scarlet if you're listening yeah. <laughs> scarlet's, scarlet's a long time listener friend of the okay, podcast yeah, actually perfect yeah. uh so yeah you yeah. always gotta find those your buddies that, yeah yeah i don't have kids but relate a little bit i've that dynamic is funny uh, when like one of the moms is cool as fuck and can tell jokes and then you just got the 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 leave mm-hmm. it leave it to beaver moms all my kids modern day friends think i'm really fucking cool they're like your mom's great you oh. know because we'll sit there and talk about balls but <laughs> all day like you know i'm Sold like making me. it i'm like you know furry balls or big balls or right. misshapen balls but i'm making it about like sports equipment and they're just like howling 11 year olds that was my dad they liked it soccer <laughs> yeah like soccer saturdays he was always make the planes would fly over and he'd be like that's a mail plane people like how do you know it's a mail plane like can't you see the little balls yeah. hanging under <laughs> yeah kids are easy targets for ball jokes like i like to make people laugh and it's so fucking easy so the kids like it my my kids don't always love it right. like uh they're like it's not funny like, no everybody's embarrassed to their parents uh, yeah and i'm probably extra embarrassing uh. <laughs> I yeah. like I like saw another comic walking down the street and I was like, Oh, there's it was Jason Baumforth. Hey Baumforth. And I was like, Oh, he does comedy super obnoxious and my eleven year old like looks at me and she's like, You all are <laughs> I was like, Oh true. Very yeah. true, you little motherfucker. Right. It's a fun crew of friends. I'm mm-hmm. I'm super into it. Now you see why I like Callie so much. She just tells me ball jokes and I giggle all to see? All Easy night. target. Yeah. I laugh at yeah. everything. Well, isn't that cool? <laughs> Maybe the best laugh. Can you come the through the open mics? I need to. Yeah, I'm sorry. We need you there to laugh. I'm going at to. Us, with us, for us. No. Yeah. I'm starting to make more money now. I'm not as worried about it. Yeah. That's just That's good. Fuck yeah. That helps. Money. It's amazing how that'll take the pressure off right away. You're like, oh, I don't want to kill myself because I can afford to eat. It's funny. <laughs> yeah. Funny. Yeah. There's nothing like <laughs> not being able to afford groceries to uh, really bum me out. Or even like the groceries you want, you know, when you have to buy like shitty groceries. You're like, mm, right. who am I? It's been a while mm. since I've been like. Shitty groceries, bro. Bread, peanut butter, and jelly. Well, we don't have children. Like a week. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. One I mouth mean, for me. I got three dogs and two turtles, but oh, they don't need a lot. It's probably a handful. Once turtles. a day, 
pain in the ass. Turtles are such a pain in the ass. Don't ever get your kids turtles. Oh, never. Yeah, okay, good. I'm not into that. They live forever. They <laughs> shit like chihuahuas. They keep growing. You could just release them, can't you? <laughs> yeah, but I've already invested <laughs> so much fucking money into them. It's like... Let it go. I want to build a pond. <laughs> 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 I've thought about it. <laughs> One of our friends... Practical in, advice. In college. <laughs> when we were in our first house and during college one of our roommates at the time he, he had a rat and mm. like got he had like an, an eye infection no. and he he was just like well i'm gonna release it mm-hmm. i don't want to get sick so he just took it to the park and mm-hmm. this giant fat rat it died White immediately rat. so something grabbed it and ripped it. another rat ate i it. tried to d- i let my daughter <laughs> hood rat. i let my daughter get a fucking disgusting rat for some reason when she was like six and the same thing happened it was sick and so i just took it like in the field by our house like in the trees and let it go and then i told her it got out and i didn't know where it was blah 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 when she got home from school and then i'm like sitting there with the neighbor getting high <laughs> And all the kids come running up and they're like, we found it. We found it. And they had fucking found the gross half dead fucking rat that I had tried to get rid of. Little, little and so then I had to put it a... back in the cage and let it like, and it died within like a few days. And it was oh, horrifying. I fucking hated that so much. It was, was actually like, a Disney movie going like, uh, on behind the scenes. No. A, a six mouse's uh, adventure getting back to its family. Uh, and then it died right away <laughs> so it's a shitty disney movie uh, no they're fucking rats they carry disease and shit it was even if they're domestic they're i think they're kind of gross i feel like i was pregnant or her sister was a little baby when that happened too it was just fucking gross i was i threw away the whole cage when the rat died i was just like Type the move. fuck uh, out it's the only way i had all kinds of fucking critters when i was growing up <gasps> hamsters and guinea pigs mm-hmm. we, did we had a hamsters we got a guinea pig and it was pregnant when we got it so like three days later it had babies Perfect. and I, w- I was like 10 9 or 10 so i didn't think about the male babies getting big enough like in three weeks and fucking the mom and like so th- they just kept inbreeding and creating more like hillbilly Gross, guinea pig babies <laughs> how long did this take place we have that with hamsters <laughs> Yeah. Until I, my parents were finally like, "This has got to stop. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this is getting like the last, the last litter of last and, batch was pretty rough." <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how they get pet shop gerbils and well, hamsters and I all think, that. Like, I mean, they're my, not My female yet. guinea pig, she like had enough and like would suffocate them. She would just like sit on the brand new babies and like I'm done. And then yeah, it was. Mm nips were getting sore Gross, pretty yeah. horrible no i think it only happened like two two or three litters i'm not with the rodents i agree it's bad i had a ferret i also advise highly against that yeah they're all they do is hide fuckers. and shit in the corner mm-hmm. Gross, white... squirty shit my dad is horrified of <laughs> ferrets like he would he would probably hold a snake but you would never catch him holding a ferret He's he f- he's freaked out by them, <laughs> like people are scared of snakes. Like, uh, he would run the opposite direction. If you cornered him with a ferret, he might scream. They're kind of fuzzy snake, fuzzy snakes. Yeah, a little. Bit. They're they're adorable, but they're I wouldn't want to keep I've one been as a bit pet. Pretty oh, hard by a ferret. Yeah, we got a bad one. I'm way more afraid of snakes. <laughs> Cripple's cool. He was a cool ferret. We got him high right away because we were just assholes. Really scary. You don't, no, you're not had, afraid of snakes? No, I don't I trust them. I don't, you can't I read do. their emotions. They, they have none emotions. Away. You don't keep them as pets either, though. No. Oh, Copy. Well, I had, I had two. Snakes don't fuck. Or we had one. I had a snake, and yeah, our other I roommate like had a them. snake. My friend had a snake. I like to watch it kill shit. That was cool. We would have like parties. The little like, mouse hound would be through the coil, like hit me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, awesome. we would. We would have I parties. Like and people <laughs> come over and be like, "Welcome to the Thunderdome." <laughs> Throw the mouse in there. Everybody's like, yeah. It's nature. Yeah. It's intense. I didn't want to own a snake though, but I I like snakes. They're I'm, I'm alright. I mean, you only have to feed them once or twice a week. Mm-hmm. And they're really low maintenance. I don't like those dumb fucking turtles, huh? Yeah. Do they even like offer you any like love or yeah, gratification? Sort of. They get they're excited like, when I they're like lettuce, yeah, give it up. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hit nailed it right on the head. They have like instinctual excitement. Yeah, they're uh-huh. just like, they like food. They food. Yeah, they know that I'm gonna give them food, this is so the they dude get excited. That has the snacks. 
Well, that's all animals, but. Yeah, they're, I don't know. They're okay. Mm-hmm. My dog seems to love me even when I'm too broke for treats, but she loves me a lot more when I have treats. Mm. Yeah. It's a good tool. It is a good tool. Like when she's been sleeping under the camper and I'm like, well, let's go. She's like, yeah, I know man, Chronic's never going to run away because he mm. won't be able to get treats if he doesn't come back. It's true. Yeah. That's, that's I thing. try to just, I don't treat train. I just will my dogs into behaving. So it takes longer. Kick them. <laughs> I wanted to bring my dogs so bad, but they would have just been annoying. But they're really cute. Oh, yeah. What kind yeah. of dogs do you have? Uh, I have mutts. I have a five-year-old Catahoula mix, and then I have like a two-year-old Healer Pit. He's, I feel bad because I like love the younger dog better because he's like a better dog. Like right. he's like swims and fetches. He, he learned how to ride a paddle board at Pal. The old dog like barely gets wet up to her ankles <laughs> and she's all prissy yeah. and prin- she's Princess Jasmine, but no, I love them both, but my dog's, Rico's a lot more fun. My the, princess the, the dog's one. name is Jasmine. Oh, we should yep. get them together. No, I love she's... them both, but it's hard because Rico's really fucking cute. I should have just brought him. You guys would have wanted to steal him, uh, but you can't. Phil's dogs make the, I can't bring my dog over. If, mm. And I used to live here with yeah. said dog. You probably I wouldn't could. bring. I wouldn't just bring my dog. Right. I'm not no, that kind of I know. person. I'm not kind of that kind right. of Durango you person. You don't seem like that person, yeah. But I'm telling you, I that bring, type of I Durango them, person drives me nuts. I bring them everywhere, so you know, it's not. It's harder when it's hot because then they'll die in the car. But yeah. in the winter time, they can just kick it in the car and wait for me. It's They're true. like, fuck yeah. I just left the truck running the other day and went into Walmart. Turn the air conditioner on and they had water in the back. I don't have AC in my 20 year old Nissan oh. Xterra. So. You didn't see my 23 out. year old pickup out there? It's I got still, AC. I still have the Lake Powell dirt on it and inside of it. It's a tight move. Fine. Lake Powell's sweet. I dig it. Me too. That was fun. You seem so pumped about it. <laughs> <laughs> or just sad that Can I have here? another beer? Yeah. yeah. I am I actually it was regret that I had to leave. And I stayed three nights out there and I wished that I had more nights to stay out there, but That's what I love living in Durango. I did though. not. Even coming back from vacation, I'm pretty stoked to be home. Mm-hmm. I didn't feel that in Farmington. Every time we'd come back oh, from vacation, yeah. like fuck, we gotta go back to Farmington. It's weird how different it is just between there. I tried yeah. to live in Aztec once because it's like cheaper. Cheap as fuck, but Yeah get what you pay for plus like i feel like when i go into aztec i like gain a couple points in hotness you know okay yeah I, and i told my kid that and she's like so in aztec you're like a two <laughs> 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 bitch <laughs> <laughs> i made him that way though yeah that's so what i can't I was about to, really that's what be I was thinking. mad i'd really just laugh but i'm like can you not roast me all the time i know my brother it, i've seen it multiple times where his kid's like roast him he's just like hey you little fuck i'm your dad like, <laughs> what are you doing that's what you did like on purpose that's gonna get them through life yeah my dad's been a smart ass my whole life that's definitely we get it from our I parents it from. yeah my mom was is a smart ass piece of shit it's funny for sure it's funny to it roast is your funny. friends and to you know to mock your children when they're in pain and all this shit <laughs> it's like, great fucking james the other day at breakfast Get all butthurt about his toothpick. He got way too butthurt. And everybody was like, whoa. And then Evan was like, that looks like a good English muffin. I was like, yeah, you probably should cut it up, make sure there's not a toothpick in there. <laughs> and it just broke all the tension. Like, But at first it was like, he got pissed. Well, stop talking about the fucking toothpick. Got all pissed off. And I was like, you should probably cut that English muffin up, make sure there's not a toothpick in it. <laughs> yeah, James gets sensitive. It's okay. Yeah. Then he, then he was okay. I talk shit to him more than anybody in this world. So, hmm, who's James? He's our friend. Oh, He's been on friend. the podcast. He, he does stuff. He's a sound engineer. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, for the Anima City Theater. If you ever Ooh. had a concert there, he's, he's the furry fella behind the board. It's That's great where American. I go to see the Nappy Roots Ooh. when they come to town. Yeah. Yeah. I need. I haven't been to a show in a long time. I need to fucking get out and mm. do stuff. You should. It's hard for me to get out now. Shit. If I can't like get on stage. Yeah, it's. Um, I have to start doing comedy mm, just to hang out with Brian now. Interesting. Very arrogant. 
extreme. <laughs> I, I go to like the showcases that I'm no, on and stuff I understand like that. that. I'm going to go to round three of the competition to support you. Yeah. Which is this Saturday, if you live in Durango or Farmington area. Come on up to the Henry Strader Theater and see Callie fucking crush Jonas. Ow, ow. And Fuck Troy. Jacob Jonas. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jacob. Be your opener. I love it. Oh, it oh, might be. Fuck Jacob Maybe I'll Jonas. just talk shit about both of those guys. I think I should. Just roast if they them. let me go last. It would be a powerful like three minutes. Yeah. Right. But you'd have to go last. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. We drew last time and I got first, which I felt like. You guys drew? Yeah. Oh. Out of a hat. I was wondering how that was decided because however whatever order it is i'm not ha- i'm like fuck that's the order so yeah. it doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i was eight the first round yeah. i i pissed six times and what is that 35 minutes i don't think that's good for you i was so nervous callie yeah i understand the, the nerve and i was like i drank like two coffees and then i drank water and then i drank a beer to calm down from the coffees <laughs> <laughs> too much stimulation <laughs> Smoked a little hash fed. I was really fed. nervous too. I don't know what the fuck to do about that. Nerves. Right. They're just, uh, oh well, it is what it is. Beta, I, beta blockers or oxy? Either one of those. Do you have any oxy? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't. Uh, but then also I don't want to go up there and be like. Right. Boom. That's not what I would do. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> then it's a stimulant oh, okay you already have like a calm demeanor i'm trying for that i, I mean think... not trying for that but trying for natural right and then like all of my jokes most of my jokes are like true stories or authentic things that are happening you know so yeah how much do you exaggerate i exaggerate quite a bit uh, i don't exaggerate really that like much. if i think of something funnier i'm definitely gonna say that like, I didn't fuck a power lifter. Or did I, you know? But well, like, <laughs> I definitely did fuck my ex-husband around Christmas time, but my dog never ate the pregnancy test. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess I get where you're going. Uh, so, I don't know. Everything's Most... based on, like, true shit. Yeah. There's and, and And talking about that was super therapeutic because that was, like, really... I really disgusted myself with that. But then joking about it helps. And I think that joking about it helps people all over the world. And that's, like, kind of what's so beautiful about right. comedy. Right, it's relatable. Yeah, you're just relating to people and, you know, hitting their funny bone. And that's kind of intimate, really. Yeah. Totally. When something, when something hits and it's just a weird feeling... When it's great. You're fucking laughing at somebody mm-hmm. and you're like, can relate. Like the Brendan Schaub's new special when he's talking about eating the star of death uh-huh. that Joey Diaz gave him during the fight companion. He's like, I thought I was like, yeah, I'm here, guys. But I was really like, <laughs> <laughs> it was just so fucking funny. <laughs> like, you just relate with it. Definitely. And that's why we talk about like a bunch of true shit on here, you know? And. I feel like it helps people, and there's definitely regular listeners. Our numbers don't go down. Some episodes have a lot more than others, but mm-hmm. there's always like the steady number, you know. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I've talked about we talk about so much, like fucking a pocket pussy, you know. I'm pretty open with everything. Feels pretty open, yeah. And he seems d- like it. We definitely exaggerate. Yeah, he's open about. Uh-huh. All the sexual I, stuff. He doesn't really share his feelings, and he likes to jerk off in front <laughs> of neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you Still know. Three. I share my feelings. I know. I'm just kidding. I, I just had to think of three. <laughs> Fucker. Oh, I just Lord. wanted to t- say that you jerked off in front of your neighbors again. I don't know. It's been a while. It's a fun visual for us all here. Sorry, I'm not talking in there again. <laughs> It's okay. You're a comedian. You're a comedian. You know how to do this. How long have you been I'm doing sorry. comedy? I've yeah. been doing comedy <laughs> since May, like May of last year. Wow. Fuck yeah. I also like to sing too, so I, I like know really? how to use a mic, but I forget. I'm forgetting what's happening here. I get you. Because we're just bullshitting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. Yeah. That's what it's supposed to feel like. Yeah. You just got to mm-hmm, bring it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, so you've been doing it for a little over a year. Did you? Yeah. 
So you were a little too late in the game to get in the competition last year. I'm Correct. Guessing. Yeah, right. they had already started when I started like showing up, which I um, I w- I'm happy for that because I've been, you know, it's been a year of trying stuff and working out stuff and doing different stuff. And honestly, some of the jokes that I still do, I've been thinking about for like five years, yeah. you know, and I've always loved comedy and stand up comedy and wanted to do comedy, but I've always been like chicken shit. I can and, relate. I mm-hmm. definitely can relate. Mm-hmm. I've been. So I think it's cool. You know, Durango scene is super inviting, and uh, it's a great way to sharpen your sword, your right. comedy sword. So the other night you were saying how it was less inviting when you started than when I started, right? Um, less inviting towards me, I guess, because. They didn't know me, I guess. I mean, I kind of knew. Well, I have a friend, Dallas Gwynn, yeah. who we're going to be doing comedy awesome. at the Billy Goat this on Friday. June 14th. Yeah. Together, which is cool. We're bringing comedy to the goat for the first time. Um, mm. It's going to be dope. But, uh, and then she never goes to the fucking open mic. So they never associate me with her. Right. And I'm just like showing up and talking about like, buttholes and i fell in love with you immediately i was <laughs> I was slightly intimidated but i was like this is gonna be a friend <laughs> butthole times so uh i don't know yeah i de- and even elliot admitted the other night he's like yeah we're pretty clickish so i i hope that we're not clickish you know that i feel like you know kate was the winner of the 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 competition last, last year, year which was awesome but none of us are better than anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hate the idea of a competition or that somebody thinks somebody's jokes are not as good as someone else's or right. like, I didn't, I don't enjoy that aspect. And I think everyone should be welcome. And it is just for, you know, people trying to get a feel for it. And I, I have been obsessed with comedy for a long time. And I have a lot of fucking dumbass life experiences to talk about. So it feels you know, like, I feel like I have endless material just totally. from, the, like, from the terrible shit yeah. I put myself through. But uh, <laughs> well, being able to talk about it's good for you. Eh. And it's like we were just talking about. It's good for everybody else. Like people that don't feel alone because they did this in their past or whatever. Right. Like, like, who hasn't done that? I'm mm-hmm. trying to figure out how to make like going to jail and that stuff funny, you know, mm-hmm. or funnier. I've tried a few times, but I haven't like found it. Like, you know? right. And that's true is like finding the little the niche of what they what they can relate to and half the time what i think are the funniest jokes people are like huh what and then the ones that i think are kind of half ass or not that great they're like oh that was awesome and i'm like oh you guys are so simple but <laughs> <laughs> I, I get it yeah it was... but so you never you never know it's half the battle there but uh, there was a point at the ranch on thursday where i didn't I hadn't done comedy in over a week, like didn't feel good about it whatsoever. And then they laughed at like halfway through a new joke. I was like, do these people like me too much? Like, are they laughing when they shouldn't be because they haven't seen me in a week? And then I hit the punchline and it was just silence. I was like, nope. (laughs) (laughs) Nope, I'm still a piece of shit. That's always good when you hit the punchline and you're like, eh? Did you not hear what I ate? Eh? Yeah, but at least least you don't like laugh like a mock laugh. I don't know if you you caught that this last ranch show. One of the performers, I don't want to be too specific but not a local and just like laughs way too much at his Mm -hmm. own shit. But like every like five words and it's not like Mm -hmm. that funny. And Mm -hmm. it kind of made me dislike him. And then I kind of told Dave this and he went again last night, try not to be specific, but like halfway through his shit, he was like, I hate this guy. Like, is this what you're talking about? I was like, this is exactly what I was talking about. Oh no. (laughs) Only he's going twice as long tonight. It'll be awesome. Oh God. And he ate a dick. He, yeah. That's not surprising. Ah, now you're being assholes. I don't want to be asshole. <laughs> I wasn't specific. I, I, ha- I hated the, the I, asshole hour. I hated the ranch on Thursday. I felt like the energy was shitty. My energy was shitty. I fucking didn't get any big laughs. 
and I just went home and cried afterwards. No, I didn't. I went home and like made a sandwich. (laughs) (laughs) But I just, and that's like, that's sometimes the energy is just not right. Because jokes that I had that normally kill motherfuckers were just like staring at me like, what? I don't want to hear about your nephew's dick. (laughs) <laughs> so I, I like, love that bit. I I do too. My nephew does too. He's really proud Running of himself. Down the hall. Yeah. <laughs> love it. That's definitely true. That was not an exaggeration. I was like, "What is that sound?" And it was just like, Wah. "Good for him." <laughs> I, know. I know, right? He's gonna be fine. No, but he pee. is. You know the ADHD shit, and he is good at he is good at building shit and fishing and gardening and all this shit. He's not good at sitting in a chair in a classroom. So, and I. they're like, can they give him some medicine so he can sit in this chair? And it's like, dude, piss the fuck off. You know, huh. like, I can't not- tell you how thankful I am that my mom didn't put me on ADHD <laughs> medication because I got, I got kicked out of a lot of classes. Like mm-hmm. I spent a lot of time in the hall and shit. You seem like the type to have right. too much energy. But I've s- <laughs> I'm so glad that I got all that yeah. experience because later on in life, I would have probably weaned myself off the medicine and then I would have had to act, learned how to act mm-hmm. in public with all that energy. Mm-hmm. And at my age, those are people you fucking hate, you know, that mm-hmm. just can't fucking contain themselves. And Or you have a like a lifetime of dependency on uppers, I feel, you know, yeah, roll into early adulthood, taking that shit and then. Still it's a lot of weak bitches out 20, there for sure. 29. Yeah, there are. But I could say that simply because I didn't have that experience. So, mm-hmm. oh my, you know. You're nobody. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've accepted that. It's okay. Do you fall in love easy? Like shallow love? No. Really? Mm-mm. I was just in Tennessee in a southern accent and oh. on a pretty face. I'm just like... I like accents. Accents right. makes people hotter. It adds a degrees of hotness, I right. think. I like most of them. Boston, not such a fan of, you know, mm. it's generally not. I good. could see not good on a lady. But if she's super hot, I'll, I'll put up with some shit for sure. We all will. Right. It's like the Want a hand job in your car? <laughs> see, that's awesome. <laughs> I like it. It sounds like Lois Griffin. Yeah. She's hot. She's oh, definitely big Lois Griffin. Everyone yeah. would. Everybody yeah. would. Yeah. Yeah, good. I'd bang Lois Griffin. She's young Lois Griffin, and they always do flashbacks. She's way <laughs> hot. <laughs> I'm serious. She looks the fucking same. Yeah, but she's hotter. Her yeah. hair's longer. Oh. Goes into long hair and eye contact. And Boston accents. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> sounds. I'm just kidding. Sounds good. Never been with a girl from Boston. No. I've never been to Boston. I grew up in Me Farmington. Neither. Not a lot of Boston girls Charmington. there. Charmington. Charmington, New Mexico. It's a nice place. Eh. It's cool to go to like Best Buy. Go to never, Petco. Never go there. Got turtle stuff at Petco. I got yeah. caught for a DUI in Aztec, so I had to go to Farmington e, for yeah. probation. That's the shitty thing about New Mexico. They don't tell you when they're going to have DWI checkpoints. But yeah. Colorado's like, in a week, there's going to be one right here. You guys fucking, if you get caught in Colorado, you're a dumbass. And every day, it's like four anyways. more days. Four more days to the DWI <laughs> checkpoint. It was the f- it was the Friday night of snowdown, and not only was I was drunk, I had dosed acid before Ooh. I left Durango. God damn, you got some balls and on And I you. was driving somebody else's truck, a dually. And that's probably why I got caught for the DUI, because the acid was starting to kick in. So when they were like... Have you been drinking? And I was like, just a little bit. <laughs> and they're like, how about smoking weed? And I was like, yeah, in Colorado where it's legal. But like, I know not to fucking talk to cops. It was just like, shit was starting to look like Mario Kart. More cops were coming. It was like, do, 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 do. Oh, that's scary. And it was all bad. And like halfway through roadside, I would just stopped and I was like, man, am I even doing this right? <laughs> Can I get some fucking validation? It was a real treat. And then I got to trip balls all night in San Juan County Jail. That sounds awful. It was a testament to my mental strength. For sure. (laughs) (laughs) Was it a lot of acid? Yeah, it was two hits of excellent acid where you trip balls off of one hit. Yeah. I shouldn't have took two. That's... I was dumbass. And I had more on me that I had to flush at the jail. It's a rookie move. Whatever, I didn't get caught. Yeah. Who's a rookie now? No, no, I'm saying taking too much oh. acid well, before I was dr- you drive I, home. I was, That's a rookie move. 
I just figured it would kick in, but okay. The people whose truck I was driving, which was a middle, a couple about ten years older than me, that were trying to lure to me, me to their house to fuck me. Weird swingers. Yeah, which I'm kind of glad I didn't make it because that would just have been a all weird. <laughs> Thank God like, I got a DWI. <laughs> the wife wasn't really into it. It's like she, he's like, I'll buy you a truck if you let me fuck this bartender. So oh, that's all, fucked up. All weird That's stuff was happening, situation. but they told me they live by the state line, and I figured I would get to their house long before the acid kicked in, and I sure as fuck didn't think I was going to be by the McDonald's in Aztec. So your plan was sex with strangers on two hits of acid? <laughs> no, I was, my plan was, you guys think I'm going to fuck you, but I'm about to get weird as fuck and like build a fire at your house and like play with your <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> she got all Matthew McConaughey on him. <laughs> Sucked ass, guys. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That's fucking Yeehaw! savage. That's why I try not to party too much because shit can escalate with me pretty mm. fast. Right. <laughs> <laughs> too old for them times. Uh, <clears throat> went out for a beer and then That was like two acid. years ago or two or three years ago that happened. Wow. Yeah. Good job, Kelly. Way to stay in the game. Well. In high school, all, they told me never learned. change. <laughs> <laughs> Who's winning now? Ah, uh, fuck. Did you go to your high school high school reunion? Uh, I went to the ten year, and now I'm like rounding on the twenty year actually, because I graduated in the year of two thousand. Mm-hmm. So, actually, next okay. year that's supposed to happen. <clears throat> I mean, right. I'm sure I'll be around, so it's I'm fine with that. I'll check it out. I did not go to mine. My ten year. No, Man. not very many people went. It's but like it's not been long enough. Ours get can or ours got canceled so far. So far, yeah, Why? they're still talking about it, and you I guys get all hate each other. No, I don't know. I just I didn't participate <laughs> in the planning. <laughs> I just kind of saw from the <laughs> the Facebook mentions, you know. But nice, nice, yeah, nice. I I don't have like a strong desire to go, you know. I'm just oh, gonna make fun of them all. What have you been doing for ten years? Like, oh. Yeah, it's like still Mormon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did a lot of acid. Mm-hmm. Jerked off a lot. Ten years isn't long enough. Are you excited now? That's gonna no, be twenty. I'm not. I just live here, and it's gonna be here, so I'll probably won't be curious. Mm. <laughs> Can you do five or ten? Like, think they'll let you on stage? Uh, possibly. I already thought about that. Dallas did that at her 20 year, which is already passed, you old whore. <laughs> <laughs> I love Dallas. <laughs> Me too. We've only met her like five she's, times, but I feel like she's we're the best person, really. She actually, we worked together and she was like, you should try stand up. You should do stand up. And uh, yeah, kind of gave me the balls to do it. Nice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, mine was Dave. Dave. Nice. Yeah. I always wanted to do it, and then we did started doing the podcast kind of so we could get some mic etiquette. I had no public speaking experience. Mm-hmm. Like, and even the first few podcasts, me and Phil were like, I was scared. You could hear my voice shake, you know? We had no idea what we were going to talk about either. Yeah. We're like, well, here we go. <laughs> we're here today. Right. In our sweaters. But Sweater it's, weather. Uh, <laughs> 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 I, think, I think we jumped right into butthole talk because that was like our safety net nice like let's talk about buttholes nice and we did and i miss pat yeah we have a friend named pat yeah who we're trying to make our he's my Mm ex-brother-in-law cool i got him in the divorce i accidentally had sex with my ex-brother-in-law really it was a mistake were you on acid no (laughs) 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 it was a mistake Oh, shit. Yeah. No, there was no acid that time. I uh, try not to fuck family. It was borderline incesty. No. Nah. That's yeah. fine. Nobody I've cares. I've been divorced from his brother for a long time. Yeah, that's it's fine. Blood. He's more attractive than his brother. So, like, that's fair, right? Definitely. Almost Might fair. as well try the better version. That's what I was thinking. Right? But then it was weird. I was Did like, you your, want to your through voices the whole marriage? sound the same. Uh, was that always a fantasy? It was kind of always on the table it always in a out weird way. You met his brother first. I actually met like, him fuck. first and then ended up with the brother. Bummy. It's all gross. I grew up in Nashua. No, I get it. I grew up uh, in, well, Farmington and Kirtland. So. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, super classy. Excellent. Yeah, no, it's whatever. What are you going to do? 
Try to make it funny. That's Mormons <coughs> and meth. Try to make it funny some kind of way. Uh, yes, Phil. <laughs> Mormons, Mormons and meth. meth. New That's going to be the name of my book. <laughs> <laughs> I like New Methico. New I don't Methico. know if I heard that before. I don't know today. if I had either. New That's Methico. New Methico. You guys want to go to New Methico? It's like you're meeting Mike Tyson there. To I do tried drugs. to avoid meth in New Mexico, so mm. I don't think I'm going to go to New Methico. <laughs> 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 I, I probably did meth. Once or twice on accident. I'm pretty sure the first time. Because we started doing cocaine in New Mexico. And it was a few nights that I was like, that is not cocaine. I think I was on <laughs> probation. Yeah. yeah. No, I did. Yep. I did start doing cocaine in New Mexico. I was like, nah, that's a total lie. Yeah. That's where the Green Light Weekend started. It's true. <laughs> it was nights like that. Yep, it's true. Me and, me and Gibby had like a Green Light Weekend four months. Yeah. It's good stuff. Green Light Weekend... You know, just a party weekend. Normally right after a drug test, like directly after. Oh, nice. <laughs> like an hour after. You know? Right. Because you're safe. You're in the safe zone. For like two days. Brian took one for the team. Kind of. Oh, that's nice. And our partnership. Good job. And I didn't go to jail, but he did. Eh, I fucked up. That's what you do. I met a snitch. Didn't know he was a snitch. Yeah. That's oh, okay. good you're not a snitch. Yeah. Yeah. That's respectable. I try not to be. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely not a snitch, but I don't know. I know who. <laughs> I know who is. Yep. Rhymes oh. with Ray Larson. <laughs> <laughs> rhymes with Ray Larson. <laughs> nice. Yeah. How long have we been doing this goddamn thing, Phil? 86 minutes. 86 minutes. How you feeling? When do you got to go to work? Do you have to go home? I have an appointment at three. Okay. That means you have 27 27 minutes. minutes. All right. So let's wrap this motherfucker up. What do you want to promote, Callie? What do I want to promote? Uh, June 14th, eight o'clock at the Billy Goat Saloon in Gem Village. Fuck yeah. Come to the goat for some comedy. You won't regret it. And then uh, June 15th is the final round of the next best comic of the Four Corners which I have been blessed to squeeze myself into. So Jacob uh, squeezed in. You were second choice. June fifteenth. <laughs> this Saturday. Henry Strader Theater. N- one week from today. That's this set. Yeah. This will come out this Wednesday. This comes out Wednesday. When of next so, yeah. Okay. So. Just kidding. It's this on Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> this Saturday. <laughs> People are running yeah. out the door and yeah. then they turned around. Do it. Come out. And you know. Come out to any of the Durango comedy scene. It's worth it. It's a fun time for all. Yeah, I feel like we got kicked out of the roost, but we still have Thursday at the ranch and Friday <laughs> down the rabbit hole. Did you know last week was music only? <laughs> yeah, we just got kicked out of the fucking roost. They're all, by the way, uh-uh. Well, you guys should stop talking about buttholes and being disgusting. I disagree. Yeah, well, hmm. Think about what the would old, you talk about, Think Cal? about the old people that are going to walk out of the second row during your set. There's no rows. It's, it's oh, like 12 that happened people. to me at the Henry Strader Theater. Oh, like nice. Those 90 year old people. Oh, just nice. Go so it wasn't a, my family. My family bared through. Just do an old Bill Cosby Good. bit. The Good whole for time. Them. <laughs> we'll relate with the old people. You guys right. want some Jello? No. <laughs> <laughs> you like, like roofie pudding? <laughs> Definitely. Who doesn't? Um, Gee, what's your Instagram? Crab cakes. Oh. Do you put videos of your comedy on anywhere? Nope. Okay. Well. I'll start doing that. Oh, uh-huh, you're Eventually. Cool. Okay. No, I want to. Because I'm trying to be famous, guys. If you have a camera, Promotion. I will film you. Fucking for like a minute. Is that what it is? You can, Now they're Tits longer. Tits technology. Now they're longer. <laughs> yeah. No worries. Okay, great. I, I'm just learning this myself. I'll help you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not the right guy for the job. I had we those types of phones 10 years ago. Yeah. Like the whole uh, 30, 36P. Those are great. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. I'm not very smart. I don't oh, know you're what good. you're saying. <laughs> sorry. Old phones used to take really shitty videos. And right. Yeah. You know, sorry. Okay. Well, you can find <laughs> us. <laughs> That's why I was like, just just go on. Go on and tell, us, tell them what, where they can find us. Yeah. This Saturday, I'll be at the... Finals of the next best comic, cheering on Cali and only Cali. Um, so come out, see that, see us. High five, Cali. She's Jacob's awesome. Like, 
<laughs> yeah. Jacob Jonas will also be there. <laughs> <laughs> and some love. fuckhead from Albuquerque. <laughs> yes. Who will not be named? Loser. Um, He's Mexico. probably going to win. I hate him. I know. <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, but you can find us at GLW underscore podcast on Instagram and Twitter. Greenlight Weekend on YouTube and Facebook. And Greenlight Weekend at gmail.com if you have any questions, comments, concerns. If you send us a dick pic, we will forward it directly to Callie. We might blow yeah. it up and put it behind us. Send them. Uh, it better be impressive or hilariously small. Either way, we'll it will put be considered. one of each <laughs> right next to Elliot. Or we'll just put them right under Perfect. Elliot's butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know. We'll make a do scrap, it. It's scrap fine. Book. It's okay. Sorry. Damn. That, yeah. We I don't know why I was like, sorry love to Love is you. love. Start a scrapbook. So, yeah. Come. August. Come watch comedy. Oh, I guess. 2019. <laughs> right. Scrapbooks. Five and a half inches. Thank you guys for listening. We love you very much. Callie, thank you for coming on. I will see Thanks you. Thanks for having me. Saturday. Fuck yeah. Perfect. Bye. Have a good weekend. The pages of a notebook. Don't put old school shit. Get your dome shook. No luck. For you, can you feel what I'm saying? Rhyme slinging, uh huh, beat banging from the pavement to the backwoods. Put your hands down if you're trying to act hood. I don't care about your steez or how you be swagging. Punks moving backwards, I'm sitting back laughing, laughing. Like, what happened to the real? I be with that hip hop plus a hot meal. Saying, This is why you ain't, this is why you ain't, this is why, this is why you never will be great. Man, come on, for goodness sake, never have to brag or boast. My verses do the walking and you talking like a joke. Tat it on your throw well i think your ink swag i'm shitting on you bitches yeah this my stink rap rock a bright pink cap and some lime green pants yeah. smack your mama's yeah. ass what yeah. you think about that yo i'ma bring it back with a cool 32 hustle lava lyrics dropping right on top your crew it's going to erupt like it's about to blow i don't give a flow y'all already know i'm running for my life that's right i'm motivated won't stop till i'm on top elevated you're gonna do it son my mama be telling me Stay away from drugs and don't be catching felonies. Nah, never. Nah, Just never, for the record, nah, I'd rather sell a record. And you know that I've always loved being under pressure. Yeah, I hear that money talking, saying be patient. Big money, honey, opportunity creating. It's so basic. Bring it to your faces. Ain't no way I'll ever let nobody tell me that I ain't sick. Not a challenge that I couldn't hang with. Put your test to rest, guarantee you I will ace it. Haters still hating, people still painting. Wanna hear this shit? Bang on every block and every face. Speaking of the devil, get up on my level. We on the base in trouble, we gon' do this shit forever. And them ponies need to step up, I don't think that they could catch up. We mash them like tomatoes, good on pretty much whatever. Honestly, I'm in no need of any extra flavor. Any time of day, I get poppin' like bacon. What you thinking? We munching every week. Got the bounce down version playing in the back seat. Let me put it this way. Loving this life. Get up on stage, drum bass, one mic every night. New place, same name on the dough. You rushing to the show, fighting for the front row, yo. I don't give a hoe anything too nice. Nintendo 6 4 got the game up in the vice. That's right, you bitch. You ain't playing like this, that's a bet. And I'm betting that I strike rich, pot of gold tight shit. I'm point five I rich, dark brown iris and long eyelashes. Man, I'm so damn handsome. Young Buck Spaniard, girls hanging around my neck like backstage lanyards. Faster and faster, I'm killing all of them bastards. But thinking trip ain't the master. Just go lie down in the pasture, call up your pastor and ask him what's going to happen after. Swing, swing, better, better. You cannot defeat my chatter, get it? Hey, better, better, tell me why you playing Little League? If you still can't see them, maybe you should be climbing trees. I'm number one, came straight out of 91 Having fun, spitting like puns, all right